Hi, my name is Rosina Spinwa. I'm a designer and a social entrepreneur based here in Brussels. Today I wish to talk about inclusion with design and creativity and why we should also teach design education and critical thinking skills to our schools. Designing inclusive processes, places and projects to nurture that creativity and critical thinking skills in education and beyond is incredibly important. Now, we know creativity and play also is important for emotional development, for the social skills, looking at the world in a different lens, which creates also that happiness and joy, as well as leading to innovative thinking and ideas. There are various studies out there, including the Lego Foundation, neuroscientific studies emphasising how play activates the brain in meaningful ways, including engagement of creating joy. The prefrontal cortex of the brain also shows up with the positive effect that enables many higher cognitive functions. Dopamine levels also increase, creating positive emotion, which regulates the reward, pleasure and emotions in the brain. With encouraging critical thinking and teaching this, we would be enabling our students to really assess their learning styles, their strengths, their weaknesses, to really take ownership of their education also. Also to work across different disciplines, really enhancing their performance or academic performance with a little bit of design thinking and imagining what the future could be like, especially with knowing that the wicked challenges we have today will probably not be going away soon. I'll be sharing some of the projects I have had the pleasure to co-design with students, including this one. How can we connect again in this technological, fast-moving world that we're in? What can I do to make the world more safe and secure? What can I do to connect again? This is something that really concerns me, but also makes me incredibly passionate to do something about it. Looking at the diversity, this city is made of so many different colours of people, so many backgrounds. It's amazing. Complete mix, it's a melting pot. This fascinates me. About how people connect with each other. How can we all feel a part of the community that we're in? Linking creativity, linking technology, but still having the human contact together. I decided to use my creativity, my network, and design a project that's about inclusion, and it's about inclusion for children like Harris, to come together and have this fun, create, interact with the different digital tools that we have, the digi different digital games that kids use, right through to the experience of 3D printing and touching, smelling, feeling the different materials and the different objects that they can make. It's called Analog to Digital and it's a creative workshop this project was very close to my heart, with it being co-designed with my son, who's on the autism spectrum and has special needs, and with his friends in two amazing schools where we created a nurturing environment, empowering the children, and through the power of creativity and imagination, they had an amazing time, and it was an incredibly rewarding project for me. Another project was the Pocket Forest, where I mentored youth from three different schools in Slovenia with the help of a local lab, via an EU project of the Do It Challenge, which encouraged children to think about a solution for climate change, with the youth designing a tool to measure air pollution. This, along with also posing the right questions to encourage to the children to think about product development, design, branding, and also marketing. Also to encourage thought about public space and how furniture could be used and co-designed with participatory processes with the youth. Design education needs to be for all, be wholly inclusive and empower all of our youth to think about designing solutions for today and for tomorrow.
I leave with an image of Yeyo Kasama, the Japanese artist who shows us we can nurture our imagination, design a world of polka dots no matter what age we are and what challenges we face. Thank you very much for listening.